Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know, um, I saw the full interview with Charles Barkley. You know, Charles Barkley, he is who he is. He loved caping for White Zaddy. And he going to defend his 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 White Zaddy no matter what. And like I said, Charles Barkley is the biggest coon. Well, he one of them. I ain't going to say the biggest, but he, he is a full-blown coon. He uh, a resident swirler. So, of course, he's going to always defend White Zaddy. Because at the end of the day, he said that um, he said that people's anger towards Drew Brees was overkill. No, it wasn't overkill. Because you know why Charles Barkley is black people actually being killed. Not overkill, actually being killed. But you don't think about that. And that's the thing. You more worried about what's going on with Drew Brees than what's going on in the black community. Like I said, you you separated yourself from us years ago. You ain't one of us. At the end of the day, you just a bald head. All right, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit myself because I was gonna <laughs> really say something about y'all. You just a bald head, white woman loving ass coon, and that's what it come down to. Drew Brees got exactly what was coming to him. Because like I said before, we all explained to his white ass, we said for years, what the protest was all about. But then he gonna sit up there and be divisive by saying, I don't I don't respect anybody. So you basically, you know, talked about you think about your grandfathers. Well, like I said, man, I had family members that fought in wars. And it wasn't just your white grandfathers, white man. Black people fought alongside well, not alongside. We had to fight in in separate camps because we wasn't allowed to be in the same room with white people. And that's what I'm saying. White people need to shut their asses up. Like I said, yo days up. When I want your opinion, I give it to you. Now, nah, motherfucker, you gonna listen to my opinion. And if you don't listen to it, get the fuck out of my face. If you don't respect it, get the fuck out of my face. Okay. And once again. We done trying to convince you about it. We taking action now. If you don't respect us, we going to take our respect. But yeah, I, I mean, th this doesn't surprise me with Charles Barkley. He been doing this for years. Talked about he know he can do this, he can do that. Nah, Charles, we don't listen to you. We don't respect your opinion. Drew Brees brought this on himself. It's funny, Charles Barkley don't come to the aid of black people when they say or do something that may be deemed uh, out of pocket. But he loved to defend white people. Drew Brees brought that shit on himself. Because like I said, his white ass knew what was up. And he just wanted to make it about himself. Then he starts saying, I'm, I, I support the black community. And I'm, I'm, we're tired of hearing that shit. And once again, if you white or non black, don't come on here saying, well, he apologized. He made fuck that shit. This was just four years in the making. He basically showed who he really is. He's a racist. And like I said, all that shit he be doing, that's a tax write off. Like I said, I'm not always easily convinced when people say, well, he does this for the black community, he does that. Drew Brees don't give a fuck about black people. Because otherwise, he wouldn't have said what he said. That was in his heart. That's who he is. Just like that dude, Jake Frum, who's sitting up saying, oh, I was young and all that. And that's not who I am. That is who you are. That was in 2019, buddy. No, that is who you are. And that's how a lot of people like you think. Because like I said before, has anybody, has OJ been forgiven? Has Chris Brown been forgiven? That's what I thought. So you can save that shit. But Charles, that's okay, man. We already know what's, what's up with you. Now go take your ass back to the, to the, to the white chick that you with. Because that's what side you on anyway. Of course you're going to say something like that. Because you love being with white women. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.